This morning, I wish to share with you some of the story about the prophet Jeremiah. The prophet Jeremiah lived amongst intense circumstances. Long before Jeremiah was born, the people of Israel split into two kingdoms, the people in the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. Jeremiah's story starts in the kingdom of Judah. Just years before, they were overthrown by their enemy, the Babylonians. Jeremiah himself was a young priest, having been born of the priestly tribe. But the worship of God in the kingdom of Judah was not up to par. The people had long been unfaithful to their covenant with God, worshiping other gods and ignoring the Lord's the laws of the Torah, including the moral and social teachings of the law, which were there to teach them and shepherd them in how they were to interact with one another. This disconnected and divided world is where the story of the prophet Jeremiah begins. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, and God said to him, Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. God tells Jeremiah, before you were even born, I set you apart to be my messenger to the people. And the Lord also t told Jeremiah, now I have put my words in your mouth to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. He says, to destroy and to overthrow. God is warning Jeremiah that the message he will deliver is a difficult message. A message of repentance. A reminder of the moral importance of God and the law, and an invitation to turn back to God. But this message was not well received by the people of the kingdom of Judah because its people found comfort in doing things their own way and rejecting God. And they rejected Jeremiah likewise. Modern scholars call Jeremiah the weeping prophet because Jeremiah loved his people and he loved God. It broke his heart to see the people turn away from God and to have them reject his message. They also call him the weeping prophet because Jeremiah lived to see his people ignore his warning and to see the Babylonians take over and destroy his home, the kingdom of Judah. Jeremiah lived a difficult life where he was ridiculed and persecuted by his own people and where he watched his nation crumble because of their disobedience to God. So how can both things be true? Firstly, that Jeremiah suffered a very difficult life. And secondly, that God loved Jeremiah. And that Jeremiah had a life overflowing with purpose. Though it may be difficult to see, woven throughout the story of the prophet Jeremiah is God's love. God's love for his people, which is extended as mercy, as the Lord desires them to return to him and God's love for Jeremiah through and among the suffering of Jeremiah, which is an example of how God loves each and every one of us. Throughout the book of the prophet Jeremiah, woven as a string of hope in a story of warning and destruction, is a series of messianic prophecies. Prophecies of hope. They offer a promise that God will restore the nations and will end the division and despair of the people. If we fast forward in the story of Jeremiah, in chapter 30, the Lord says, So do not be afraid. Jacob, my servant, do not be dismayed, O Israel. I will surely save you out of a distant place, your descendants from the land of their exile. Jacob will again have peace and security, and no one will make him afraid. I am with you and will save you, declares the Lord. Here in the midst of a story of destruction, of brokenness, of loss, of pain, 
we find the patience and the mercy of God. Even after the people had been warned by Jeremiah of their wrongdoing, the people continued to turn their back on God. And yet, the patience of the Lord never failed. In the Messianic prophecies, we find a foreshadowing of the coming of Jesus and the light of hope that shines in the darkness of the story of Judah. Throughout the many lives and stories of the Hebrew prophets, which we read and share in our Old Testament, we find stories of struggling people, those in broken relationship with one another and with God, and often a people too stubborn to release their own ways and to reconcile with God and with one another. And yet throughout each of the stories of these prophets, including that of Jeremiah, we find a foreshadowing, a glimpse, a hope of what is to come, a glimpse of Jesus. We find that God extends an invitation again and again to the people. An invitation to turn back to God and to find righteousness not in their own understanding or wisdom, but in a restoration which God promises to complete. God loved the people of the kingdom of Judah so dearly, so dearly that despite their unfaithfulness, despite their mistreatment of one another and their disregarding of their God, the Lord sent them Jeremiah out of mercy. He sent Jeremiah, the gentle, weeping prophet, who came bearing a love of his people and a love of God to remind them of their obligation to care for one another and to worship rightfully. Time and time again, throughout the stories of the scripture, God sends a messenger. A messenger to shepherd a warning and an invitation to turn back to God. These messengers, the prophets, are found throughout our scriptures because God's mercy echoes throughout our stories. God continually sends opportunity to repent and to come back. It is God's patience in the face of human struggle and rowdiness, not God's wrath, that is at the center of our narrative. And in God's patience today, Jeremiah is called upon to share the message of patience. The prophet Jeremiah is sent by a God who knows the wrongdoings of his people and who knows what sufferings lie ahead. And yet, in a spirit of patience and a true desire to be reunited with his children, God is still able to promise, do not be afraid, for I am with you to deliver you. This is why the foreshadowing of Jesus echoes throughout the story of the prophet Jeremiah and throughout the tales of each of the Hebrew prophets. Because Jesus is the ultimate act of God's patience. His ultimate act of sending a shepherd to herd us back to the Lord and to invite us back into righteousness. May we give thanks this morning for God's patience. Our God who sent us Jeremiah and who sent us Jesus to guide us back into God's loving arms and to teach us the way of reconciliation. We give thanks for the patience of God in our own lives as we continually find his tender love in the face of our stubbornness. We give thanks for Jeremiah for sharing his message and we hope in the love and patience of God. Amen. <laughs>